Hello everyone. This paper presents pedestrian detection and tracking framework for autonomous cars, efficient fusion of camera and LiDAR data. The author of this paper are Mahmoud Islam, Dr. Abdullah al Redor Nawaj, and Dr. Ali Karim Mudhan. Without any further ado, let's go to the outline of the presentation. Here is the outline of this presentation. First, I'll provide a brief introduction on pedestrian detection using phasing technique, followed by some problems and challenges using phasing technique. Then I'll provide discuss. I will discuss about our proposed methodologies to resolve those problems. After that, I'll show our experimental results. And finally, I'll finish the presentation with conclusion. Let's start with the definition of the pedestrian tracking. Pedestrian tracking consists of two main stages. The first stage is pedestrian detection, which is classifying and localizing pedestrian in an image frame. And the second one is the association of the detected pedestrian with the current and past estimates. Now let's talk about pedestrian tracking with multimodal sensors. Most popular sensors used for pedestrian detection are camera and LiDAR sensors. Uh, camera provides a rich class of visual information, but does not provide depth information. LiDAR can provide depth information, but performance in classifying objects are not very good with the LiDAR sensors. So each sensor has its pros and cons. What we will try to do is to use the maximum feature of each sensor. So, in this work, the problem that we figure out is how to detect and track pedestrian using multimodal sensors. The challenges to the corresponding problems are fusing RGB images with LiDAR scan, which is a computationally expensive process. Another challenge is uh, existing methods suffer from either rich feature descriptors or sensitivity to environmental conditions. For example, camera sensors are sensitive to different illumination levels. And uh, to solve the main initial problem, we propose a fission mechanism using RGB images and depth images from LiDAR scan. We use a single stage network to jointly detect pedestrians. And in our approach, we also use common filter to fuse and track pedestrians from sequential multiple sensor data. Now let's see how we can infer pedestrian information from multiple sensors. If we use only camera sensors, detection may fail due to the sensitivity of camera sensors like low illumination, bright sunlight, low camera resolution, etc. So left side image represent the ground truth bounding boxes of three anticipated pedestrians. Middle image show the result of a detector and the detector can detect only one pedestrian on camera image. In the right side image, we can see another pedestrian is detected on corresponding depth image from LiDAR scan. And the probable reason for failure of the model on detecting pedestrian on RGB image is the complex background. On the other hand, the failure on the depth image is a uh, pedestrian is close to the wall and there is not that much depth variation for the particular pedestrian and its surrounding background wall. So therefore the best result can be achieved by combining these two independent result from two sensors and a joint into a joint prediction. So there are different approaches uh, in fusing information from multiple sensors. One approach is a parallel, uh, parallel pedestrian detector where RGB and depth images can be processed using multiple detectors in parallel, which requires high computational cost and memory cost. And another approach is using only one detector. In the case of single detector, RGB and depth images are concatenated to reduce the computational cost. So challenge is how we'll concatenate the images so that we will not lose any important information. We have to make sure RGB image and depth images overlaid the area, those are really important. So we try different concatenation and uh, method and found vertical concentration is better compared to the horizontal concatenation. So here is the architecture of our method. We first convert the 3D LiDAR data into depth image. Then we merge the depth image and the RGB image vertically. Next we pass it into, uh, next we pass the joint image uh, through the base network yellow V5. After that, we mapped all of the detected boxes on a single image. Finally, we use color filter to track the stream. So here's our base network. Our base network is yellow V5, which has four main section. So first one is the input section, then backbone section, after that neck, and the last uh, section is the output section. So in the input section, the network takes an image and completes a data augmentation procedure that uses the data loader for scaling, color space adjustment, and mosaic augmentation. Among this augmentation technique, mosaic augmentation first introduced in yellow V4, the mosaic augmentation combines uh, four training images into one in certain ratio to simulate four random crops, which helps to detect small scale and particularly uh, small scale and partially occluded pedestrians. After that augmentation, the augmented image is fed into the backbone of the network. 
In the backbone section, a bottleneck CSP is used, which is the modification of the dense net. And using bottleneck CSP, different shallow features like edges, colors, etc., are accepted. And during training, the backbone module learns these features besides an additional special pyramid pooling. SPP block is used to increase the receptive field and separate the most important features from the feature maps of the bottleneck CSP. So the next part of the network is the next part where the network uh, enhances the understanding and extraction of the shallow features are adopted in the backbone part. By adding a bottom-up augmentation path beside the top-down path used in feature pyramid network, a path aggregation network that is called PNet is used to process, combine, and analyze the extracted feature and finally optimize based on the target of the model. The last part of the network is the output where the model yields the detection result using dense uh, prediction and dense prediction provides a vector by combining predicted bounding boxes and unfitted score for classified pedestrians. So let's uh, come back to the proposed uh, pedestrian detection on and tracking architecture. Now we'll discuss about the tracking part. So uh, the Kalman filter has been extensively applied pedestrian tracking from the camera streams. Our framework uses such a technique to predict and update the pedestrian registries from the continuous camera and LiDAR streams. Our integrated frameworks augment the capability of the existing pedestrian tracking method by fusing depth information. To track multiple pedestrians in a frame, our framework uses three important information like bounding boxes from RGB images, optical flow between consecutive RGB image frames, and bounding boxes from the depth images. So now, what is the input and output of the Kalman filter? Kalman filter takes the input of the probable bounding box information from RGB and depth images, the input velocity information for Kalman filter comes from the optical flow part. And the output of the Kalman filter is the state vector uh, S representing bounding box with velocity information. So Kalman filter basically fuses all this information to jointly estimate the state of the pedestrian. So one of the important properties of the Kalman filter is that, uh, now uh, let's more discuss about the Kalman filter. One of the important properties of the Kalman filter is that, the state vector is hidden parameter and the observation provides useful information to update the state vector. Therefore, in our settings, while using the Kalman filter, the observation, I mean, the bounding boxes from the detector are not directly useful for tracking pedestrian. Basically, the Kalman filter based tracking has two stages, the prediction stage and the update stage. In the prediction stage, the bounding boxes for pedestrian are predicted using the corresponding state of the bounding boxes in the previous frames. And, uh, in the update stage, the observation of the pedestrian in the current frame is used to update the predicted state of the pedestrians. So therefore, uh, the process of fission begins with identifying observation models and associated uh, measurement noises for each observation modality. For instance, in our setting, the bounding boxes from the RGB and depth images are considered as positional information, whereas the optical flow provides the velocity information only. So this way, we can assign a separate observation model for updating the joint uh, prediction state. So now let's uh, look at the experimental result. Here is some experimental result. Figure uh, represent that um, a fused method can track all of the pedestrian in four successive frames. Uh, green and cyan bounding boxes in the top row uh, represent detected and tracked pedestrian, respectively. A bottom row shows the corresponding LiDAR scans. Relative distance of object uh, from the ego vehicles is shown by jet color spectrum correlated to the 8 bt image scale ranging from the LiDAR minimum to maximum value. Here is another scenario. On the top row, there are pedestri uh, two pedestrians detected head in the first frame. In the second frame, a model failed to detect uh, one of the pedestrians. However, in the next two consecutive frames, that pedestrian is detected and tracked again, which represents the robustness of our method. So here's the video demonstration. Uh, left side figure basically shows the undetected result on the RGB images, and the right side portion shows the detected result on the uh, light, depth image of, that we got from the LiDAR scan. And the final result is basically our combined result from the depth image and RGB image. And we see by combining these two results, the detection result is improved. So here is some more experimental result. We found fused yellow has a lower miss rate compared a baseline yellow and fusion without Kalman filter 
and future weather common filter, the first yellow requires a little higher runtime compared to the baseline yellow in our setup. And also, first yellow has better accuracy, precision, and recall compared to baseline yellow V5 model. So now here's the in conclusion, uh, we develop a real-time accurate precision detection and tracking framework by fusing camera and LiDAR sensors. We concatenate RGB and depth images in an efficient way and reduce the number of detectors and computational cost. We integrate sensor data with thermal filter to accurately and robustly detect and track multiple pedestrians. And, uh, and extending uh, our tracking method for pedestrian behavior and intention analysis can be considered as our feature work. So I'd like to thank all of my teammates from Access Library for supporting me all through my research. I'd like to thank all of the sponsors of Access Labs, especially North Carolina Department of Transportation, National Science Foundation, and SAE International, and the Ford Motor Company. And now I'll take questions. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much.